hi guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my review on the clean reserve fragrance line and i know a handful of you have been waiting for this review for over a year now so hopefully you guys are here with me today but we're gonna go over the one from the classic line several from the reserve line and then a bunch from the avant garden collection in fact i think i have all of the avant garden collection there are some that i'm gonna be passing on but real quick before we get into the fragrances i just kind of wanted to go over the house so the clean line the clean classic the reserve and the avant garden collection they make up the clean beauty collective and then all clean perfumes are cruelty free and 100 percent vegan and each and every fragrance is formulated with the finest ingredients so typically with vegan and kind of your uh clean ingredient perfumes they do tend to sit a little closer to the skin some of them do project but they're more intimate scents they're more your skin but better they definitely elevate the way you smell but i do find a lot of these two they perform pretty decent especially if you're kind of an overspirer the way i am so i kind of wanted to go over that really quick i'm not going to go over when these were released because we have a lot to go over so let's go ahead and get into the video the first one we're going to go over is clean skin and this is from their classic collection i'm only going to mention when this one was released because for some reason i thought that this one was like a super oldie i don't know why i felt like i grew up with this scent but when i looked it up it said that this was released in 2012. i just remember warm cotton and, and linen and i did haul a lot of these clean classic but i didn't put them in this video because i'm just I'm, i've moved past that so i didn't want to put them like in here but i had picked up their warm cotton their cashmere their linen but i wanted to talk about this one because this by far is my favorite from the classic collection i prefer this one over the clean reserve skin which i know is very popular it's a little bit more gourmand uh without being gourmand if that makes sense but it's a little sweeter whereas this one there is a touch of sweetness but this is more of a floral musk scent this has hints of dewy flower petals and warm musk to create an enticing scent of touchable bare skin so this has top notes of sheer honeydew lotus blossom fresh air accord middle notes of dewy petals aquatic notes blue rose and then base notes of white musk cashmere woods amber wood and creamy vanilla whenever i look this up i always went to fragrantica but i actually pulled all the notes from the clean beauty line unless it was discontinued so on fragrantica they always just had floral notes and musk i didn't realize that i had all these notes and now i understand why i'm getting a sweetness that i did not get when i first hauled this fragrance the vanilla i think from sitting in this fragrance for over a year is getting a little stronger but still it's not as strong as it is in the reserve so i'm going to talk about that one next so that i can kind of compare them this one it's more of a soft vanilla whereas the clean reserve skin that one has a praline note making it a little bit sweeter but this is just yeah this is a clean musky slightly sweet skin scent you want to smell like you just stepped out of the shower but not overly soapy like i know some people don't like those overly soapy scents this is just clean bare skin like clean bare skin on like a nice warm day so again that is clean skin from the classic collection and then next we have clean skin from the reserve blend so this is from the family of floral musk and this has top notes of bergamot orange blossom honeysuckle middle notes of warm skin accord vanilla orchid sun-kissed peony and then base notes of salted praline fresh musk and white cedarwood and this is a beautiful scent like this would be in a top five for me if it wasn't for the praline note like i can really pick up that note 
especially smelling these side by side so this does smell a lot like the classic but again it's a little bit warmer and sweeter it's got a little bit more going on to it if you want something a little bit sweeter i would say go for this one so i did like this but the praline note just got a little kind of nauseating on me so i just i ended up sticking with the classic and this one is my favorite so again, that is Clean Skin from the Reserve Blend. Okay, next we have Aqua Neroli. And this one I don't want to spray on me because this is probably part of my bottom three. I'm going to tell you, none of these fragrances are bad. Like, these all smell beautiful. They all have something that kind of make them clean. You know, like certain houses have a thing. And this one definitely has a thing. And I just love the musk and the base on all of these but neroli and orange blossom are bothersome like they aren't notes that i dislike they are bothersome to me they give me a headache like this is a very citrus uplifting neroli orange blossom musky slightly woody fragrance and it's just like bright and happy but on my skin, it gives me a headache. This is in the fragrance family of floral citrus. This has top notes of bergamot, mandarin, orange Sicilian, middle notes of jasmine, neroli, orange blossom, and base notes of aqua musk, amber, and ambrette. And maybe it's the ambrette that I really like. It gives it kind of this smokiness. And when I say smoky, I'm not saying like straight up incense, but just how incense has this smokiness and Brett is like a kind of incense musk to my nose with like some woody nuances. So that's what I get. And then I get the neroli and orange blossom combo. And then I get the musk and the clean jasmine. And it's a really uplifting scent. I, I enjoy smelling it on the card. I just don't want to smell it on my skin. <laughs> so this next one is warm cotton and just like the names of a lot of these that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get warm cotton so warm cotton is in the floral aldehydic fragrance family this has top notes of aldehyde ginger water accord middle notes of mint green pepper floral accord and base notes of musk incense and vetiver this is kind of strong the aldehyde <laughs> yeah the aldehydes in here they're not like the aldehydes that I get from number five, but they're that kind of very sharp, kind of soapy, screechy, you know, when you smell aldehydes, you kind of know. And then as this settles, it becomes just kind of your detergent, kind of clean linen scent. I spray this on my pillow, but it's not something I want to smell like. But if you want a very realistic linen scent, any from this line whether it's the reserve the classic or the avant garden you're gonna get a clean linen scent so again that is warm cotton next we have rain i didn't include this one in my rainy day fragrances because this although is something that i would spray on a rainy day it, it's not one i would spray on me on a rainy day it's probably one that i would like if i'm gonna read a book i like to set a tone so this is a dewy kind of earthy after the rain slightly sweet there's something sweet about this one but not like gourmand sweet it's like kind of sweetness maybe that you get from florals like certain florals have like a sweetness to them so this is in the watery musk fragrance family and this has notes of bergamot chilled cucumber water lily middle notes of dewy white flowers cyclamen muguet and then base notes of patchouli rainforest vetiver and clean musk now this doesn't smell overly cucumber to my nose but it almost smells like um like if you ever smelled cucumber and melon which i cannot stand anymore but cucumber and melon like the lotion but maybe take out the melon like a very clean kind of cucumber lotion if that makes sense without it being overly synthetic because <laughs> these don't smell overly synthetic to my nose but 
Like I do get like a chilled cucumber, but it's not like straight up cucumber. But yeah, this is a very dewy, kind of watery, after the rain kind of scent. The next we have Lush Fleur. This is probably the most like floral musk. Like they all have a muskiness to them. But yeah, this one's got a, a more, it's a little bit more springtime, a little bit more floral. This is one that I'm going to play, play around with a little bit more, but maybe next spring I, I'll add a larger bottle because I really did enjoy this one, but I want to be better about getting through, and I'll explain why, about getting through the travel first. This is in the Fresh Floral Fragrance family, and this one has top notes of bergamot, mandarin, raspberry, middle notes of gardenia, jasmine, damask roses, and base notes of vanilla, moss, amber, and musk. And this is just, to me, a very dewy, floral, musky scent. I don't really get a raspberry, but I do get something slightly kind of sweet and fruity without being overly fruity. This is a very soft, floral, slightly, ever so slightly, it almost comes off more sweet than it does fruity, musk scent. Clean and very fresh. So if you want something a little bit more floral, fresh, slightly pink, because the sweetness in here, again, it's not like when you think of a fruity floral. If you hate the note of raspberry, I don't know that you would still hate this one. It's not like a fruity floral because this line is very, again, skin. It's skin-like, so. Very pretty, I, this was actually part of my scent of the day. Next, we're gonna talk about Radiant Nectar. I'm actually wearing this along with Fleur. They're both my scent of the day, so. This, this is sparkly pear. This to me out of the line, I would say this one has a little bit more going on to it than a lot of the other ones from the reserve line. The Avant Garden collection is another line that's like that, but I, I feel like this one's got a lot going on because it's got pear, it has a breadth, it has a muskiness, but there's also something kind of smoky in this one. There's something kind of woody in the base. Like a lot of the ones that I'm going to talk about that have more of a woodiness are from the Avant Garden collection, but from the actual reserve line, I feel like this is more musky. Like the Avant Garden collection is musky, but it's also got a lot of woody and earthy notes in, in those. Whereas the reserve line, I find them to be more clean, fresh, and musky. So this one, I feel like I also get a little bit more wood in this one. And even though they don't list vetiver in this one, there's something about this scent that reminds me they don't smell anything alike. There's a note in by Radel's Baldafrique that just reminds me of a note in Radiant Nectar. So Radiant Nectar is in the floral musk fragrance family. It has top notes of ambrette seeds, pear nectar, middle notes of orris butter, carrot seeds, tobacco flower, and base notes of white cedar wood and broxen and liquid musk. So it's a tobacco flower that I'm guessing gives off that kind of smokiness, but also probably the ambrette. Cause again, ambrette can do that sometimes it, to my nose or my skin. It just gives off this kind of almost incense vibe. So this one, I would say, falls in the same kind of scent family as Ariana Grande's God is a Woman. Also, Burberry Her, the new EDT. They kind of all vibe the same. This one, I would say, is a little bit more of that clean musk. And again, that is Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. Okay, the next we have Suede Oud. And this one, I really, really enjoy, but I think I would like it more on Dennis. If you want to get into Oud, this is probably a really nice beginner-friendly Oud. It's not, because it's not overly Oudy to my nose, but slightly Oudy. There's something kind of smoky about this one. This one is very unisex. 
So this is in the Woody Musk fragrance family. And this has notes of, so this has a lot of notes, but this is blended very, very well. So this has top notes of incense, oil, blue cypress, birch wood, red pimento, honeysuckle, middle notes of temple oud, night blooming jasmine, white magnolia, fir balsam, Ooh, I can't pronounce that. Not even gonna try. In the parentheses, it says Bushman's Candle and base notes of soft suede, gold patchouli, black amber, praline, skin musk, and then albenum tears. So that's from the site, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is a little more, it's masculine, but without being masculine got a smokiness to it a kind of very soft very soft burning wood like don't think by the fireplace kind of burning wood and the oud in here is there is oud you get it but it's so soft and so blended that i think this is a very nice introduction to oud in fact when i hauled this i didn't really get a oudiness but now that i've spent some time with other oud scents i i can get it but it's so soft and again very blended it's musky there's something kind of spicy in this one i'm hoping that it works out for him because i think this is so sexy but it's not while i enjoy unisex i tend to lean more for kind of fresh unisex i don't know i think i think i will enjoy this one on him more it's a very very nice scent and again this is suede oud. Okay, and then I did get a large bottle because I saw it heavily discounted of Solar Bloom, but this is where I'm thinking I need to stop doing this because I love the travel I get. I get the large bottle and then I go back and forth. So I still really enjoy this scent. I just don't know. I don't know. So this is in the fragrance family of Radiant Floral. This has top notes of bergamot, green mandarin, freesia, middle notes of orange blossom, jasmine petals, and base notes of charcoal and brox cedarwood sensual musk coconut water and vetiver see i just i don't know i go back and forth with this one this is such a unique coconut scent it smells kind of like a luxurious spa with the coconut and the charcoal but the more and more i wore this one i don't know maybe it's the vetiver it just it felt a little bit kind of like suede oud it felt a little more masculine than I remembered when I was testing it out. Again, I love the scent. I just don't know if it's something, this isn't something Dennis, like suede oud is something he, he might like. I don't see him getting on board with Solar Bloom, but it's very unique. It's a different kind of coconut scent. It's one you could wear year round. It's again, a kind of skin intimate scent. It's a little creamy, but it, but like like all of these, which I'm having trouble expressing because this isn't a typical designer or niche house. This is, again, very, when you think of the notes, think of all of it kind of musky, light, and airy. It's clean and skin-like. It's just a little bit different from the way I usually describe scents in that when I describe the notes, it's like that, but more soft, musky, and airy. So I just, it's important to know that with this line because when you blind buy, if you blind buy like I do, especially the Avant Garden and a lot of these, this is a line that I already knew was more on the clean, musky, skin scent type. So very different take on coconut it's not going to be an overly beachy this is one you can wear year round i am interested to see how this one plays in the winter with the with the charcoal note because you do get again something kind of like it's kind of a spa like scent you get kind of creamy coconut a very clean musky kind of scent your soft woods in here and then you get that charcoal note but it comes off like kind of hot rocks like if you see in those in the movies or if you've ever gone to a spa where they kind of pour hot water on those rocks and that scent that comes up that's what this is 
very relaxing but i almost feel on me it comes off a little more masculine again that is solar blue all right next we're gonna get into the avant garden collection we're gonna try to keep this short as short as i can so first up we're gonna go over white amber and warm cotton and i'm gonna try and insert clips better clips of these bottles but this one is in my bottom two this one and the next one i'm going to talk about this one because again it's just a very realistic kind of clean linen scent and it's become a room spray like i've already put a little bit of a dent in this one you can see it more this way just using it in the room Whew. so this has top notes of aldehydes cassis buds and green accord Middle notes of jasmine petals, lilies, and peony, and base notes of amber, clean woods, and musk. So what I would say about these two and comparing them, this one to me is a little bit more skin-like. This one's very, very strong, fills up a room, and straight up, straight up detergent. This one, like when you're walking outside and someone's doing laundry and that scent that comes while you're walking, like I know when I go walking, I always, I'm like, oh, someone's doing laundry. That's what this smells like. Both of them, but this one, especially, this is very strong and it's one of those things that you know the scent of it when you smell it. So it smells really nice, really good. I just wouldn't want to smell like it. And again, that is white amber and warm cotton. Okay, then next we have hemp and ginger and this is from the spicy woody fragrance family this one i think i'm gonna give to my brother i feel like he would like this one yeah this is unisex leaning masculine this is spicy it's got kind of a bohemian vibe to it so this has top notes of bergamot ginger middle notes of cardamom sichuan pepper and oud and saffron Ooh kind of have to look for the oud but i definitely get the cardamom the saffron the pepper this is a very spicy very it opens up kind of citrusy and bright and a little zesty from the ginger but quickly when it settles down to me maybe maybe that's i don't know all these blended together i start to get kind of a leathery spicy scent like the bergamot and ginger i don't really pick up in the dry down as much as i get kind of a leathery kind of spicy rugged kind of scent i get a little bit of the citrus i mean it's on the card but i i remember when i tested this out it didn't it was a little too masculine for me so i remember taking it off but it it's definitely a spicy kind of to my nose, the oud comes off a little more leathery than it does kind of oudy. And again, that is hemp and ginger. Okay, then next we're going to go over nude, santal, and heliotrope. And this, yeah, I really like this one. This is sweet. This is clean. This is musky. This is very unisex. This has top notes of lemon, cinnamon, middle notes of orange flower, heliotrope, base notes of vanilla Madagascar, cedarwood, Virginia, and sandalwood. I'm always used to seeing like Virginia cedarwood, but they had it flipped. But this isn't about the notes at all. Like, is this right? This to me is a, a sweet kind of creamy musky scent it's not like anything i've really smelled before it's got that clean dna but it's starting to lean a little bit more sweet like more like a vanilla kind of sweet but without being an overly vanilla scent it's kind of unique it's one that i do enjoy it is more of a bedtime scent because it does get a little it's a very cozy kind of scent and it's very unisex this is kind of a creamy warm vanilla kind of skin scent it doesn't lisk musk but i do get something musky in this one and then i get the sandalwood but it's very soft 
it does lean a little bit kind of like suede oud and solar bloom where it can be a little bit more i don't want to say masculine because these are overly masculine strong scents but in the clean side of things when you think of bare skin this to me smells more like a man than a woman because again these are more like think of bare skin smelling a little bit better so again this is new centile heliotrope this one's really nice okay the next we have galbanum and rain and this is in the woody green fragrance family and this i put in my rainy day scent video this one along with sweet briar moss and muguet and skin are very much rainy scents but not only rainy scents but they give me the feeling of rain like that petrichor after the rain earth scent this one has something kind of sweet that's why i like this one over the other kind of rain there's a touch of sweetness to this one Galbanum and Rain has notes of Sichuan, Pepper, Star Anise. Maybe that's what's coming off sweet is the anise. I know I know Star Anise can come off spicy, but also like licorice. So maybe that's what's coming off sweet. It has watery effect and middle notes of incense, Galbanum, base notes of white moss, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. Yeah. So whereas Classic Rain and then the Reserve Blend Rain to me are more like these are definitely more dewy scents this one is a little more earthy and i think it's that star anise that's coming off kind of sweet to my nose but this is a kind of rainy day scent for me it's a little bit sweeter i do prefer it over the reserve rain just because it's got a little bit more going on to it another kind of similar after the rain scent is muguet and skin and I guess this is supposed to be like skin, except it doesn't smell like skin. This one, but this one's really nice. This I have to be in the mood for, but I really do like this one. This one is in the fragrance family of Woody Musk. Muguet and Skin, which I did have a subscriber tell me that Muguet is like Lily of the Valley. This has top notes of cardamom oil, white freesia, middle notes of Muguet, heliotrope, jasmine, base notes of clearwood, musk, patchouli, ambrox, captive, pamperwood, and praline. This doesn't have a overly sweetness, but this is that kind of after the rain scent. Like that petrichor, the feeling of damp earth. That's what this one and galbanum and rain smell like. I'm gonna link my rainy day perfumes because I go into even more details on, on them. And this video is already getting a little too long. But I go over this one, sweet briar moss and galbanum and rain. But this is again, muguet and skin. And then sweet briar moss. I ran out of paper, so we're just gonna. Yeah. This is another one. This one's a little bit more sweeter. Kind of mossy. And there's something a little smoky about this one. So sweet briar moss. This is in the floral woody category. And this has this really pretty, like, green ombre bottle this one is said to be discontinued so i couldn't really find the notes on the clean beauty line but according to fragrantica this one has sichuan pepper mandarin orange lychee olibanum flowers rose de mai jasmine oak moss vetiver cedar cashmere wood and amber this is another kind of woody musky after the rain scent i would say out of the three this one might lean a little bit more masculine even though it's got a sweetness to it it's just got this kind of smokiness to it as well that i think let me just smell it over here yeah no this one there is something kind of smoky and woody about this one but again check out my rainy day perfume video where i kind of go over this one in more detail and again that is sweet briar and moss all right, next we have Sawado Blossom and Sand. And I learned that that means Sawado, which there's a G, but it's like silent. 
it means it's a famous park in arizona but it, it's like a cactus plant and this is in the floral green family yeah so this has top notes of green ivy middle notes of mimosa white freesia and bottom notes of desert woods now this is one that i also believe is discontinued so i had to pull the notes from i don't know if it was macy's or some other site so i'm sure there's other notes that are in here because it seems like they do blend a lot of notes let me see if i could find better notes because i just i don't like those notes so this has according to fragrantica this has lemon zest verbena freesia ivy lily of the valley rose de mai mimosa jasmine white woods musk and vetiver i feel like that's a little closer just because i do get something kind of zesty and fresh in the opening and i do get florals other than mimosa like there is something kind of rosy about this one i don't know that i get lily of the valley but i could see where there's probably jasmine and then there there is something woody and musky about this one in the base this is another nice one yeah i get the citrus definitely this one has whether it's lemon zest or lemon there's definitely some kind of citrus in this one but again like all the other clean it's not sharp it's very soft and airy i would say out of nude santal and suede oud um i prefer this one because it's more of a unisex citrus which i prefer more like usually when i do gravitate towards a unisex fragrance it does tend to lean more like on a citrus fragrance side again that is sawado blossom and sand okay and then save the best for last from this line that would have to be white fig and bourbon and this is from the spicy aromatic fragrance family this is to me the most different out of the whole line this to me is their sexy fragrance but still staying in that kind of clean skin side i've talked about this fragrance a lot now if you don't like intoxicating scents that have kind of a wine note to it this doesn't smell like c like the c range but if you don't like the c range you're going to want to test this out first because this to me has that same kind of intoxicating boozy wine top but it doesn't smell like the line but if that specific accord bugs you you might not like this one this has top notes of black pepper dried fruits italian bergamot middle notes of red tea white fig magnolia blossom and base notes of vetiver bourbon papyrus and cedar wood and this is just an intoxicating kind of spicy fig scent but the fig in here is a little bit more like like green and not coconut because it can come off coconutty to my nose in some fragrances and then it can come off a little bit more kind of of a fig like a real natural kind of slightly green fig and that's what it comes off in here and again it's got that kind of boozy wine opening which i feel like that is coming from the dried fruit kind of like when you think of mold wine but if you are watching this and you want to stick more to clean beauty vegan and you want a sexy fragrance because i don't feel like there's a lot this to me is what is the sexiest out of the whole entire line this is date night it's intoxicating yeah this is a top for me okay so that is my very very long review on the clean reserve line this video is going to be super long i didn't really go over longevity because these are more in your bubble kind of skin fragrances and i do over spray these so i get the longevity i need by getting my clothes and my hair these come in huge bottles so you could just top them up honestly but that is my review of the clean reserve line 
do you guys have any of these fragrances and what are your thoughts on them but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys